Hello everybody, Lot Angel Forever here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we got Pharrell's Pearl uh, from the Deku Tree, and we also made way to Great Fish Island, but as you can see, uh, this island is cursed and it's all rainy and depressing at the minute. Um, that link needs to stretch. So, um, there isn't much that we can do here, uh, but there is one thing we can get. And we've got the King Red Lion who's talk to us. So Jabon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are if we are able to believe the words of, words of the Mito postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jabun hides. Why don't we go first to Windfall and search for them there? Sounds like a plan. But before that, we have to go um, to that little, um, I guess it's like an island. That's like poking up from the um, sea. Um, uh, trying to get the wind direction. It's kind of difficult, but if you do this, it, it's pretty amazing, it's simple to get around. And then when you're about near the island you can just swim the rest of the way. I find it easier to do that if you want to keep like the wind direction the same. And I believe I want to keep it the same because I think uh, what we want to get is like in that general direction. I think I don't know, I think it's the northwest the wind's blowing and hello we have a we have one of the Koroks. Hello, Swordsman. I haven't seen you in a while. Have you have you been? Wait, it's only been like an episode though since we last saw you though, so um I guess it hasn't been that long, but I guess it is to these little guys that maybe a day is a long time for them. In a way. I don't know. <laughs> and this also sets the state what so, like sets the stage for an extra um, side quest, uh, which we'll be doing late, much later. Um, because we don't know where all the trees are, and I don't know all of them at the top of my head. Plus there are other things that I want to do at the minute before I do the side quest. Let's talk about getting some water from the forest haven and sprinkle it on the forest tree. Please, please help me. We be a little Korok all in good time. So, yeah, I think maybe change the wind's direction probably is a good idea, thinking about it now. Mm, yeah, north, north sounds about right. I think, I guess north, northwest is uh, good. Um, ish, I hope. <laughs> I hope we make it. We want to get to that little, you might not be able to see it, this little cave thing over here. And we got a spiky chest and we made it also. Um, should have said that first but <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, but we got a piece of heart. That's our fourth piece. Complete another heart container. So we have six. Had to count them. The water has gone like really bright all of a sudden. Yeah, oh, it's gone dark again. It must have been a glitch or something. Okay, King of Red Lions, it's time to venture forth to Windfall Island. I guess I'll keep the sailing in since Windfall Island is not 
that far away and we can also pick up a few map fish locations along the way also and I just realized I forgot to get the map fish location for Great Fish Island whoops but we'll be going past uh, Great Fish Island again so I'll get it then I think we'll be going past there again if we do we do if we don't we don't <laughs> but I will get it I will definitely come back to get it and I will get it on camera as well The music also changes and it kind of, it used to freak me out as a kid as well, but, um, no it doesn't, but it also like, you know, says about for the environment and how it's changed and how all the great sea has changed, like it's all cloudy and rainy and miserable and stuff like that. So I guess we'll go over here and see what this island is since I can see the fish popping out the water as well. Pick up a bit of bait and where's it fishy? Fishy fishy. There you go. There he is. Nice small frog. Yeah we heard this for a long time for quite a in a few past locations so we'll just skip this bit. The, the important bit is um, getting the information. This is Rock Spot Island. I wonder how long it's been since the light on Windfall the lighthouse went dark. It was quite a grand sight I tell you. The way that ray of light shone out like a shaft of gold through the cold darkness. I used to gaze, ga gaze at it with dear Gillian. Maybe Gillian's his uh, girlfriend. Anyway, I bet if someone could shoot a powerful spark into something, um, it also like hints at something we can do at Windfall Island, but we can't do it just yet. Um, then maybe one day the the fish and Gillian can gaze at the sea again in the future. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be kind of cool if you went past Roxbury Island and you just saw two fish just looking out at the sea in a way. I don't need a telescope I think. So it's constantly night and because oh. like by now I think it would have been daytime I want to go over here slightly just because there's a cyclone over there and that's not good <laughs> I wouldn't like to get swept up in it I can see another fish popping out the water, but um, should we get it? Going past it, so we need the winds rocking. Wind, yeah, winds rocking it also. I guess we can stop a second. And we need the bait. We need bait. So we'll get the wind wake car in a minute. But first, fish time. Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, take it. You want blah blah blah. <laughs> Mother and Child Island. Isle. Information? They say that inside that ring of rock that makes up the perimeter of this, that island lives an incredibly beautiful fairy. But the thing is, nobody's ever met her. Supposedly, the only way you'll ever meet her is to take a ride on the whirlwind and drop inside that rock perimeter from the sky above. Doesn't that sound easy for her? And that's all that the info I got to offer. And he goes about his policy, about bait. And we don't care. <laughs> I always have plenty of bait. I try to at least. East. 
to get more bait out. I guess we're gonna go past one more island before we get to Windfall. Bye bye Cyclone. I don't know what that voice was. I've been doing funny voices in this episode I think. I think it looks pretty spooky out here. You know, there's no, there's no, there's only light you get in, is through the thunderstorm and stuff like that. Like, like I said before, I, I used to freak me out as a kid. Spectacle Island. Beware the night when the crescent moon faces up. That's all I can tell you, small fry. Hmm, sounds interesting in a way. Crescent moon faces up. Hmm. That sounds interesting for later, I think. So, onward to Windfall. We're nearly there. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> Now I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I hate when the camera does that. Like it just like pans out and then where's where's the island? Oh, huh? Uh, oh, okay. There it is. Found it. <laughs> we also could get like the information from the fish, but I don't really bother with. Um, the map fish locations with islands we already have, like you know, the Sacred Fortress, this one, and I think that was it. Oh, no, out and out was that. It's just as the postman told us the pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they're hoping to get their hands on Jabun's sacred gem. I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. And Link's like, yeah. Time for some spy work. In the next episode. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.